Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to add rational group expressions with similar denominator. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So guys, in adding similar denominators of our rational algebra expressions, as you can see here, we have the denominators as x plus 1, and here, x plus 1, and same with the other given expression. So now, adding addition of rational algebra expressions with similar denominators is the same as adding fractions. Let me show you how to do that in fraction first. Let's say we have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3. To add these fractions with similar denominator, what you need to do is to copy the similar denominator, which is 3, then add the numerator, 1 plus 1, that is equal to 2, and the correct answer is 2 thirds. Now, same process, but the difference here is that the numerators are algebra expressions. So how are we going to do that? Let's do number 1. 2x plus 3 over x plus 1 plus 4x minus 1 over x plus 1. The similar denominators are x plus 1 and x plus 1. What we need to do is to copy first. We have x plus 1. Then we will add the numerators. We will put it here. 2x plus 3 plus 4x minus 1. Here, we have 2x plus 4x. We can combine these two. That would be 6x. Then, for the constants, 3 minus 1, that would be plus 2 or positive 2. And then simply copy your denominator x plus 1. And as you can see, this is now the sum of the two rational algebra expressions. Now let's continue with item number 2. For number 2, we are given 2x plus 1 over x plus 4 plus 3x minus 2 over x plus 4. We have the similar denominators. Copy that denominator. x plus 4. Then put it here, 2x plus 1 plus 3x minus 2. Now, combining these terms, 2x plus 3x is definitely 5x. 1 minus 2, that would be negative 1 over your common denominator, x plus 4. And this is now the answer for example number 2. Now guys, we can pause for a while and you can try the third example. Do it. Okay, let's continue. We have 4x minus 8 over x plus 5 plus 6x plus 2 over x plus 5. So let me copy first the common denominator x plus 5. Now, Put it here, 4x minus 8 plus 6x plus 2. So what we can do here, combine these terms, I will put the answer here. We have 4x plus 6x, that would be 10x. Negative 8 plus 2, that would be negative 6 over x plus 5. And this is the correct answer for number 3. Now guys, what about number 4? We have an exponent here. Don't worry, same process. Copy the common denominator, which is x plus 2. Copy this one, we have x squared plus 3x plus 2x squared minus x. Now, what we can combine here are those variables with the same exponents. x squared plus 2x squared, that would be 3x squared. Then next, we will combine these two, 3x and minus x, that would be plus 2x over x plus 2. Now, what we have here, can we factor out the numerator? No. So, this is now the correct answer 
for number four. So guys, that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. But hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat and bye-bye!